Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Uh, this should be the last part of uh, simultaneous, I mean, uh, indices, which is uh, quadratic forms of indices. Uh, others can be questions and answer, maybe, you know, to show maybe there are some strange questions that you cannot handle. Maybe attention is needed. But at this point, you will understand everything on indices and uh, both normal indices and the logarithm, I mean equation forms of indices. Now, I have this particular form, um, equations, which it was dropped on our um, page, Facebook page for assistance. The first one, you have to solve, the, solve for S in the given equations, which we have the equations, these are one, two, three, four. Now, by the end of this, you understand how to solve something like this. I have this particular problem, solution to this. This is very simple. I have this, I have this. I can turn this to 3 raised to the power x squared equals to 3 raised to the power 3x minus 2 because of division. <laughs> now, it is true that 3 equals to 3. x squared equals to what? 3x minus 2, which is my x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. We can solve this in simultaneous, I mean, quadratic form, you know, which is what can we multiply to get 3 and the same number will be added to get minus 3. I think it's minus 2 minus, if I should, sorry, I'm not talking, I'm not yet to teach you some quadratic equation anyway, but let me just try to, for better understanding, I have minus 2x, or minus x, minus 2s plus 2 equals to 0, x bracket of s minus 1, and uh, minus 2, x minus 1 equals to 0, x equals to 2, or x equals to 1. Now, these are the possible values. If I put, look at this, this equals to, which is going to be um, 3 raised to power 2 squared, that will be 4, can it be equals to um, my s is 3. My s is 3, which is going to be, um, my s is 2, which is 6, 6 minus this, that will be 4. 3 is power 4. Can you see? It's, cor it's correct. Is it correct? It's very, very correct. Now, if I use my another one, s raised to power, which is going to be 1, 1 raised to power 1, which is 1, I have what? Uh, equals to, this will be 3 raised to power uh, 3 minus 2. 2, which is equals to 1. It's very correct. <laughs> now, okay, look at this one. I have 2, 2x two squared plus 15x. Now, in the bracket, equals to This will be 2 raised to power 0. Since 2 equals to 2, therefore 2x squared plus 15x plus 7 equals to 0. Now, I think I can solve this simultaneously, which is 16. I mean, 12 I need what I will multiply with this is going to be 14 and uh, 15. I think I can say that um, 14 times 1, 14 times 1, which I have x squared plus x plus 14x plus 7 equals to 0, which I have x bracket of 2x plus 1 plus 14, I mean, sorry, 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 7 bracket of s, 2x plus 1, which my s will be given as s equals to 7 or x equals to 1 over 2. s equals to minus 7, s equals to minus 7, and s equals to um, minus 1 over 2. That is all. Okay. That is for that. Look at this also. It's a very simple one. I have 8e e raised plus 115 all over e raised to the x equals to 26. Now, whenever I have something like this, just multiply all through, which I'll be having e raised to power uh, 2x plus 15 equals to 26 raised to the power e x. Take note of that very well. What you just need to do, I multiply everything by what? by e raised to power x, by e raised to power x, by e raised to power x to avoid the fraction, and this one become 2e, and this attached to this. Now, I can answer that what 8e raised to power x uh, 
minus 26 e raised to the power uh, plus 15 equals to 0. Now, let e, let e raised to the power x equals to n. It means I'll be having uh, 8m squared because of this is, I have x bracket of 2, yes? Now, which is minus 26m plus 15 equals to 0. By so doing that, I can now, you know, I'm good to go. Which, uh, uh, what can I multiply to get uh, it that's this? I think you should be able to handle that very well. You should be able to handle that very well. Hope I'm not making any, committing any blunder. I think the answer is no. Now, if I have, um, now, if I should move on on this, I'll be having 8m squared, um, minus 6, m minus 20 m plus 15 equals to 0. By so doing that, I can now say that what is common here, I can say that 2 m bracket of 4 m minus 3 and also, what is common here, I can say that 5, 5 is common. 5 bracket of 4m minus 3 equals to 0. Now, my m, yes, hope I'm not making a mistake. My m will be, mm, 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 uh, my m will be equals to 5 all over 2, or my m will be equals to, that is um, 3 all over 4. Now, that is, I'm looking for x, not n. I'm looking for x, not n. Don't forget that. I will not say that n's, my n, my uh, e raised to power x equals to what? When my m is what? It means 5 all over. It means I'll be having, um, yes, 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 yes. Now, we can now say that um, I will log the both sides anyway log e raised to the power x equals to log uh, 5 all over 2, which I have my x equals to log uh, 5 all over 2 base e. That is my answer for x. Or you do the same thing to add there, and you go. Now, before I head, let me try to generate another problem, you know, solution to the other problem, which it will really help, for, help us to understand. This will give me 5 raised to power 2x mm, plus 4 dot 5 raised to power x dot 5 raised to power 1 minus 125 equals to 0. Now, for me to undo something like this, I can say that let 5 raised to power x equals to, uh, let me use n this time around. I'll be having n squared because this particular one it will give me n squared plus 4, that will be 20, 4 times 5, 20n 20 minus 125 equals to 0. Now, can you see, this is a normal quadratic equation, which, what can I multiply to get and, uh, the same thing number, which is 25 and 5. 25 and 5 will give me what I'm having here. It means I'll be having n squared um 25 and 5 which i'll be having plus 5m minus 25 n 125 equals to zero which m um n plus 5 and uh 25 bracket of n plus 5 equals to zero my n equals to 25 my n equals to minus 5. now can you see but this is not what i'm looking for i will not say that n's n equals to what? Um, 25. It means 5x equals to 25, which is my n is 25, rather. Yes, which is going to be 25, which is 5 raised to power 2. My s will be equals to 2. Now, when n equals to minus 5, which it will be, uh, it will be very hard for me to handle, it means my answer is, is um, 2. My s equals to 2. And uh, if that is the case, I'll be having 5 raised to power x 
equals to minus 5. Can you see that uh, this is a minus? It means my answer, and uh, there is no log that will provide me minus value. You know, log minus is not possible. You know, I think we are going to complex analysis. Please take note of this log. Minus 5 is a complex uh, analysis, which I'm not yet to think about that. It means my h equals to 2. I'm not yet to talk about this for now because anything minus is a complex uh, number. <sighs> I think by now you should be fine with this uh, logarithm, I mean with uh, indices. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.